one of the most controversial endings that I've seen in a long time in the NCAA tournament, or was it? I don't think it was all that controversial because it was a foul. Kyle Guy takes the inbounds pass, turns to the basket, rises up, and unfortunately, Samir Doughty jumped into his space, clearly contact with the leg on his way up, didn't give him room to land. It's a textbook foul. It's unfortunate for Auburn. I think you got to give credit to the official for making the correct call, and you have to give Kyle Guy credit for making all three free throws in a huge pressure situation, which I don't think many players in college basketball would have been able to do that. But let's talk about the double dribble. That was in play as well. Yeah, so there's a clip, you can find it on Twitter, of a double dribble, looks like a double dribble, Ty Jerome right before that three-point attempt. And, you know, I think it's tough. It's a live-action play. Uh, He kind of dribbled the ball off the back of his foot. It happens really fast. From where I was sitting and people around the arena, I don't think anyone in real time even picked up on that. It's only sort of when you slow it down into the very granular uh, look at it. But ultimately, hey, Auburn, you miss a free throw at the end of the game, you give up a three-pointer to Kyle Guy, you foul him shooting a three-pointer. Those are the ingredients of a loss. I can't really blame it on the officials. Well, Auburn certainly felt in the locker room like the game had been stolen from them. So the question, I guess, Dan, is does Virginia deserve to be in the national title game? Of course they do. He got the last call right, and he made the free throws. Virginia was the better team. They shot over 50% in the second half. I, I think they're very deserving of being there Monday night. You see that? That was sprinkling of knowledge. Controversy closed. And in the meantime, stick with Sports Pulse, your heartbeat to what's trending in sports.